Hey, Penny, how's it going? Hey, Zach, what are you doing here? Uh, my dad's company prints the menus for this place. Just dropping off some new ones laminated. Makes them easier to clean if people throw up on them. <laughs> Guess how I got the idea. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Uh, Zach, these are my friends, Bernadette and Amy. Hi. Hey. Who? <laughs> okay, well, it's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Look at this stamp. On what authority are they permitted to mutilate patrons as they enter? I'm sure it'll wash off. Little comfort tonight. I look like a hell's angel. <laughs> There's Zach. Are you sure this is what you want to do? It's not what I want to do. It's what I have to do. Go, Amy Farrah Fowler. <laughs> Follow your endocrine system. Thank you, Sheldon. You're a good friend. Please don't drag this out. <laughs> this is never going to come off. Excuse me? Zach, I am Amy Farrah Fowler. We met the other night. I have spent my life in pursuit of pure knowledge. Until I met you, my decisions were founded in logic and reason. And yet here I stand before you, 130 pounds of raging estrogen, longing to grab hold of your gluteus maximus and make Shakespeare's metaphorical beast with two backs. My gluteus what? <laughs> on the other hand, as I look at the blank ape-like expression on your face, I have decided to adopt the Vulcan practice of colonar. Goodbye, Zach. Bye. <gasps> that should hold me for a while. Hey. 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 Hey, your copy of Science Magazine was in my mailbox. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Check it out. All about planets this month. That's an atom. Agree to disagree. That's what I love about science. There's no one right answer. So, you and Zach again, huh? Yeah, yeah, me and Zach again. Were we here earlier? Okay, we should, we should go. Ah, uh, not yet. I want to talk science with the science dudes. Oh, and the science dudes want to talk science with you. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Rocks, dinosaurs, our friend the beaver? <laughs> you know, I saw this great thing on the Discovery Channel. Turns out that if you kill a starfish, it'll just come back to life. Was the starfish wearing boxer shorts? Because you might have been watching Nickelodeon. <laughs> no, I'm almost sure that it was the Discovery Channel. It was a great show. They also said dolphins might be smarter than people. They might be smarter than some people. <laughs> well, maybe we can do an experiment to find out. Well, that's easy enough. We'd need a large tank of water, a hoop to jump through, and a bucket of whatever bite-sized treats you find tasty. <laughs> Dolphin might. Oh, I see. You guys are inferring that I'm stupid. That's not correct. We were implying it. <laughs> you then inferred it. <laughs> Let's go. You know, for a group of guys who claim they spent most of their lives being bullied, you can be real jerks. Shame on all of you. What the hell did I do? You laughed. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. I forget the rest. All right, let's get this thing over with. I'm sorry, but in what universe is Wonder Woman blonde? Relax, no one's going to be looking at her hair. <laughs> I mean, oh. <laughs> Hold on, the costume came with a black wig. Where is it, babe? No, I'm not wearing it, it looks stupid. Come on, we're trying to win a contest here. Forget it, I'm not wearing the wig. 
Penny, there's no I in Justice League. <laughs> well, actually... Put out! He's making our case. Okay, babe, uh, kind of embarrassed me in front of my friends. Okay, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm not going. Looks like someone else is gonna have to be Wonder Woman. <laughs> Babe, open up. I'm not talking to you. And who are you talking to? <laughs> Babe? <laughs> well, it would appear LeVar Burton won't be joining us, so... <laughs> Let's get started. Uh, I thought we'd begin by going around the room, introducing ourselves, and saying a little bit about why we're here. Okay, uh, I'm Sheldon. Uh, for regular readers of the New England Journal of High Energy Physics, I need no introduction. <laughs> if you're not familiar with that publication, there's a free copy in your goodie bag. <laughs> Stuart. Um, <clears throat> hi, I'm Stuart. I run a comic book store, which, for financial reasons, I'm currently living in. <laughs> and I guess what I'm hoping for most out of tonight is a hot shower. It's very nice, Stuart. Zach? I'm Zach, and I'm a... Uh... <laughs> Could you come back to me? Of course. Barry? I'm Barry Kripke, and I'm here because you told me there was going to be a waffle? <laughs> when is the waffle? Patience, patience, Barry. The waffle... <clears throat> the raffle... <laughs> is the grand finale to an evening-long festival of fun and folly. One more question. Yes, you must be present to win. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm Zach, and I'm, uh... Well, oh, crap, why is this so hard? <laughs> Waking my heart. I couldn't if I tried. Oh, honey, if I can get west, west, baby, you're not that kind. Don't go waking my heart. You Anybody do walking on sunshine yet? <laughs> no. Dibs. Who I gave you my. Sorry she made you come over here on a holiday. It's all right. I didn't have anything going on. Plus, Penny told me we were married, and Thanksgiving's a time to be with family. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. Can we just get this over with? Uh, uh, you guys have to sign here and here. On Monday, we'll file for the annulment, and this marriage will be over. Okay. I don't know if I want to sign it. <laughs> Why won't you sign it? I just think splitting up can be rough on kids. We don't have any kids. Are you sure? Because you didn't know we were married until this morning. Okay, look, Zach, come on. You know neither of us thought this was real. I mean, we were married by an Elvis impersonator. Of course it was an impersonator. We could never afford a real Elvis. You married him instead of me? Uh, good call. Sign the paper. Hey! You know what? You have been a jerk about this all day. You always do this. Whenever I mess up, you're right there to make me feel even worse about it. That is not true. But yeah, we could have waited till Monday, signed the papers, this all would have been over. You're the one who invited him here. Oh, there you go again. Just another mistake you're throwing in my face. Not cool, bro. <laughs> I'm starting to think you're not the kind of guy I want dating my wife. <laughs> yeah, well, she's not going to be your wife for long. Oh, no, are you dying? <laughs> I'm about to. Sign the paper. You know what they say, happy wife, happy life. Let's eat. Thanks again for cooking. Yeah, everything was delicious. Well, I couldn't have done it without my two favorite girls, Martha Stewart and Rachel Ray. <laughs> Why do you say we go outside and throw around the old pigskin? 
This is a Jewish house. I don't think they have pig skin. <laughs> I'm sorry about today. And I promise next time I get married, it won't be a joke. It'll be for love. Or money. I'm sorry, too. Don't be. It's my fault. I was a terrible husband. I was never around. You know, maybe you and I wouldn't be together, but you wouldn't have done so great yourself. Why? Because I know exactly the kind of guy you would have ended up with. Hey, babe. Hey, do you remember to pay the rent? Better. I used the money to buy these magic beans. He may be an idiot, but at least he didn't pee himself. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, babe, I peed myself. The end. Benny? Oh, Zach, hi. You guys remember Zach? Yeah, hey, buddy. Uh, hey, did you two get married? Uh, yeah. We did. <laughs> to each other? <laughs> yes. Cool. Because other than when you broke up with him and dated me, then broke up with me and then dated me one more time before going back to him, I was always rooting for you two. <laughs> Thanks. So, how's the science world? What are you guys up to? We've actually been working on a prototype for a navigation system we invented. Well, we won't bore you with the details. Are you kidding? I love science. Einstein, Stephen Hawking, Mike deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> Mike deGrasse Tyson? Yeah, you know, the boxer who grew a mustache and became a scientist. <laughs> so what's your invention? Well, we're using quantum vortices to replace gyroscopes in guidance systems. What's neat is that they can maintain angular momentum indefinitely. Angular momentum. I was wondering about that. <laughs> you can put it in a satellite or a rocket and it'll run forever. Cool. Could it be used for missiles and war stuff? Yeah, but we didn't create it for weapons. And I thought the military would be interested in our little guidance system. Is it better than the one they use now? Oh, oh what? <laughs> huh. You sure you guys are smart? <laughs> Benny? Oh, Zach! Hey! What are the odds of running into you here? Well, it's a bar, so pretty good. Uh, what's new? Oh, tons of stuff. Put artificial grass in my backyard, got engaged, had a scary mole that turned out to be Sharpie. <laughs> Well, congratulations! That's what my dermatologist said. No, I'm, I'm getting engaged. Good for you. Oh, thanks. How about you? Hey, how's Leonard? Is he still smart? Yes, yes, he's working for the government on an infinite persistence gyroscope. Of course, the first time I say it right, he's not even here. <laughs> I love that little guy. Hey, we should all have dinner sometime. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll check with Leonard. Cool, I'll check with Sarah. Sarah, pull up my calendar. It never works for me. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Hey, hey where's your fiancé? Oh, she couldn't make it. She had an emergency. Oh, no. What happened? I didn't ask. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. Working on a top-secret government project? That is so cool. Oh. Do you have a bodyguard to keep spies away? <laughs> I have Sheldon, that keeps most people away. I miss that guy. He's like the Swedish chef Muppet. I don't know what he's saying, but he's funny. Oh, I know what he's saying, and he's not. He's not funny. So, Penny, what's going on with you? How's the job? Uh, it's okay, I'm still in pharmaceutical sales. And... Doing amazing. She can actually make a side effect, like 10% chance of liver failure, so I'm like a 90% chance of liver success. <laughs> Yeah, lying isn't my favorite part of the job. Actually, I'm not crazy about a lot of it. Hey, if you're not happy there, I've been looking for a new head of sales at my company. And we don't sell drugs, just menus. So the only lie you'll be telling is we print on recycled paper. <laughs> we don't. Well, that's a nice offer. You know, we'd make a great team. 
Or as we say in the menu business, I can't do this without me and you. Right, because it spells menu. Yeah, right? It's funny. <laughs> I got a lot of menu jokes, but that's my favorite. <laughs> hey, ladies. Zach, hi. You guys know Zach? Of course. Did, did you send this over? I did. I asked for the most expensive one they have. They said it was $200, and I said I want a more expensive one. And then they said it was $300. <laughs> but it, it was the Don't. same. <laughs> Thank you, but you shouldn't have spent so much. Nah, it's cool. I sold my company for a boatload of money. And then I bought a boat. <laughs> then I got married. Guess where? On your boat? No, but that would have been awesome. Well, congratulations. Hey, you and Leonard should come over and have dinner with us on our boat. Yeah, that would be so nice. Leonard was just saying how he was hoping to have dinner with one of your ex-boyfriends on his expensive boat. Well, then this worked out perfect. <laughs> Marissa, how did you guys meet? Oh, it's a pretty funny story. We met in a bookstore. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> yeah, I was just there using the bathroom, but this one had a stack of books like this tall. Oh, uh, so you really like to read? Oh, no. I work there. <laughs> yeah, she is super smart. Seriously, you name, like, any book, she'll tell you if she's heard of it. Go on, try her. Oh, uh, uh, Catcher on the Rye. Nope. Look at that, Penny. I guess we both like nerds. So, uh, I'm gonna take this thing out? Nah, it's a little choppy tonight. No, yeah, that's okay. This is nice, sitting under the stars. It's actually kind of peaceful. Well, it's a beautiful boat. Thanks, man. We love it. Although he's so tall, he bangs his head almost every time he goes downstairs. After the first couple, you don't even feel it. <laughs> Where are our manners? Zach, let's get our guests something to drink. You got it, babe. I can't believe that guy's rich. Ooh, watch your head. That was a close one. Are you jealous? Oh, no, I know, I know. I shouldn't be. He's super sweet. I should be happy for that. Oh, it's driving me crazy, too. Really? Yes, uh, I was trying to pretend like it wasn't so you wouldn't think I was petty. <laughs> We're both petty. I love you so much. Oh. Cheers, guys. Oh, Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> so listen, I gotta be honest. But we sort of have another reason for asking you here. We want to have a baby, but we can't do it on our own. It could be because of a game me and my frat brothers used to play where we kicked each other in the balls over and over. <laughs> But the doc says there's no telling. We just don't know. Huh. You went to college. And Zach's always admired you because you're the smartest person he knows. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, yeah, this has been such a nice evening. Let's all just stop before anyone says any more things. Leonard, would you be the father of our baby? No, oh, you said a thing. <laughs> Wow, this is really flattering. And also really weird, right? <laughs> oh, just to be clear, you don't get to, you know. No, I... <laughs> I got it. Just because I slept with your wife doesn't mean you get to sleep with mine. <laughs> hey, we get it, but thank you for saying it out loud. You're welcome. I know it's a big ask, but it would mean so much to us. Yeah, and we really don't want a stranger's, you know, I know. sperm. <laughs> and Zach's always talked about what a great guy Leonard is. I... I really don't know what to say. <laughs> really? You don't know what to say? <laughs> you, I, I think we should talk about this. Oh, yeah, definitely. You guys should talk, yeah. Take your time. He means privately. Right. Sorry. Sure. Yep. Okay. Come on, Zach. Yeah. Okay. I really think those two should be parents. There's just nothing wrong with them. Oh! 
thank you guys again for agreeing to do this. Yeah, it means so much to us. Oh, uh, we're happy we can help. Yeah, and we don't find it weird at all. <laughs> it's a little weird for us, too. I mean, instead of our baby looking like Zach, it's gonna look like Leonard. <laughs> or Penny, if it's a girl. It's not gonna look... Sure. <laughs> But I promise, we're going to be really good parents. Mm -hmm. No, we know you will. So what is the next step? Yeah. Well, Leonard, we were hoping you'd go in on Monday, OK? And they say for the best results between now and then, you shouldn't have sex. Sorry, bro. I know it seems impossible to go for five days without, but I believe in you. <laughs> five days? My record is 24 years. <laughs> I, I think that also means no flying solo. Oh. And my record is 14 years. And, well, we're really hoping for a son, so just, like, keep that in mind when you're in there. Yeah, just think, little boys, little boys. Still just totally not weird. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hey, Sheldon, we're kind of in the middle of something. Oh, I won't be a moment. I just need to grab a book off a high shelf, which I can do because I am both tall and smart. <laughs> Sheldon? Come home. They don't want to have your baby. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh dear, I think I got something in my eye. My piercing blue eye. Sheldon. Fine. I've also never had a cavity and I don't have asthma. 